Hey guys, it is Sam here, aka Super Sam. I'm here with my first video ever, so ooh, congratulations, you're part of it. <laughs> um, but today I wanted to come and talk to you guys about my recent journey or my recent change, and I wanted to get you involved into my journey about my weight loss. So on October the 3rd, I got the vertical gastric sleeve. The big reason why behind it was because um, I'm 25 years old and I hate saying this, but I was 344 pounds. Um, and if I did not stop it then, it was just gonna keep on going. I did post my like big reveal on um, Instagram. If you do not follow me on Instagram, please do so that way you can kind of keep up with my journey um, as well as I'm going to be doing some videos kind of like giving you an update of what's going on. I married the, lo the love of my life on September 2nd, 2018. Um, so I know that just, you know, children were going to come and just I wanted to be healthy. You know, like the older I get, I see the more struggles that my family has um, with all like their health issues with Hispanic culture is just that's how you show your love with food um, and I never really noticed how big my life did revolve around food until I met my husband um, so when Alden and I met you know he would come over um, I would serve him food and he would be like what is this? I'm not gonna eat it. And I'm I would look at him and I'm like, what are you talking about? It's 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 food. Like eat it. Like this is a man's plate. And a man's plate to me is like a mountain of food because that's what I was accustomed to. And he's like, No, this is not what I need. I like this is I'm not gonna eat this. Portion? Like what? Like what is that? Sorry, there's like a plant right next to me. And there's a gecko like just staring at me. I live in Florida and I'm kind of getting freaked out right now because it's like really just staring at me and I'm like scared to move right now because if it jumps at me, hmm. Okay, but anyways, let's get back to it. I live in Winter Haven, Florida. Uh, before then, I lived in upstate New York. I'm in a town called Binghamton and I lived there all my life. I was working for Verizon Wireless, had about to hit about like three years working there. Oh my God, it's about to come out the plant. Oh, okay, it went back in, <laughs> sorry. 2017, um, I decided to get my own apartment and that's where like I gained my, like, like probably over a hundred pounds there. Just because like I would work crazy hours. I never had like a, it was retail. So I like, I never had a set schedule. So by the time I would come home, I wouldn't want to do anything because I knew that I, I just wanted to just lay on the couch, watch TV and that's it. So I would just like grab something to eat on my way home. I would always, since I never cooked, I would never have anything for lunch the next day. So I would go out and eat. So it was just like, I was always eating out. But then when I moved to Florida, it was 2019 and my whole model for 2019 is simply why not why not um so i on, in february i decided to go meet with my surgeon which is dr tagger um and i went up to him and i was like you know i'm thinking about doing this i have no idea what it is what what happens nothing so we went through a couple of options. Um, he showed me the option of lap band, um, the sleeve, and bypass. And he just said, he, by like just talking with me, he said that the sleeve was better for me. Um, I could always go do bypass after the fact, because um, once you do bypass, like there's nothing else that you could go to. So like he said, let's start with the, the sleeve first. Let's see how you do. And if you still want to lose more weight, then we could do the bypass. You know, I wasn't nervous at all. Um, and the reason why I did it was because through the entire process, I prayed to God and I always felt at peace about it. Um, I always felt like I was going to be okay. 
So even down to the wire of me having the surgery, it was just, I was never phased by it. When it came down to almost the surgery, that is where it got tough. Um, I had to do two weeks of liquid diet right before my surgery. Again, my surgery was October the 3rd. So I could only drink protein shakes, um, water, um, sugar-free jello, sugar-free popsicles, broth. And that's pretty much it for two weeks. That was definitely hard. And that could be a different video, a different time, but that was definitely hard. Um, but I survived, <laughs> I, I, I survived, kind of, but I did. <laughs> Big question that I get is the recovery. Like how bad is the recovery? And honestly, the recovery isn't bad at all. Um, after I got out of surgery, instantly, like in the recovery um, area, instantly, as soon as I woke up, I said, I'm in pain. Like I felt pain that day, I'm not gonna lie. The first day, I would say the first and second day is probably the toughest days because the first day they had me drugged up on so much morphine that like I all I did was when I just wanted to sleep like I couldn't keep my eyes open for nothing like all I just wanted to do is sleep to the point where I asked the nurse I'm like please something else no like that's it no more morphine like that's it um, so about like, I would say about like five or six. So I went, so I went to surgery, wanted to check in and surgery around like at eight o'clock in the morning. And I would say like, I was like full, fully awake kind of sort of cause I was so drugged up, um, around like six o'clock in the evening. Um, I went for a walk. That was my first time like I went through for a walk. Um, like that first day, all I just wanted to do was lay down and sleep. Um, and that, yeah, I was in pain. Um, the second day, I was more alert, um, still in pain. Like that night I woke up and I was like, I, I need something. Like I made sure every three hours I was on getting something. That following day, I did go home. Home was good. Um, I had discomfort of like getting up, sitting down, things like that. Um, and my first night, my first two nights of being at home, I took the pain medication that they gave me at the hospital. And then after that, I, no pain. Like maybe just a little bit discomfort, like getting up here and there, but other than that, I, <clears throat> I'm thankful. Like my recovery has been really good. If anyone has been thinking about it, or <clears throat> if you have a chance of doing it, I definitely say yeah. Um, the reason why I say is because your health is so important, so, so important. And if this is an opportunity, cause me, I've tried every diet known to man known to man and nothing worked like yeah there was a huge part because like I wasn't consistent enough or anything like that but just like just nothing it, like nothing like nothing worked it was just like as the years progressed I just gradually got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it was just like enough is enough um so if you have the chance of doing it by all means you know put your faith in god and 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 do it um i am my current weight now is 301 pounds so that means i've lost 43 pounds in a what a month like it, it's crazy like just just that 43 pounds i mean not just but with that 43 pounds i like i've seen such a huge difference like i don't get tired putting my shoes on i was 25 years old and i used to like cough and puff to put my shoes on i catch myself getting impatient because i'm like okay like 
I need more pounds. Like, come on, I need more pounds. Um, it is definitely going to take time and I need to constantly remind myself about it because I get impatient. I get eager to eat because I'm still on liquid for like an, a month. Like I need to eat, but it's most definitely a mind game. It's my mind saying, yo, you haven't ate. Like, where's the food? Like, but my, I'm not hungry. So it's definitely a mind game. So if you decide and if you have a chance to do it, definitely do it. But just keep in mind that you have to prepare yourself mentally. Like, that's the huge part. Um, I know a lot of people might think this is the easy way out. And by all means, this is not the easy way out. It's definitely emotional. It's, and it's an emotional roller coaster. Um, you're on a very strict diet, so it, it challenges you. But I don't want to keep this too long. Um, I definitely want to do a video based off of just showing you what I did eat um, my two weeks before surgery and what I am eating now. Um, so that video is going to be coming soon. I'm very into like skincare, a little bit of makeup here and there. I'm definitely not a makeup guru, even though I think I am, but hey. Um, but definitely, if you are interested in that, please like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon so you can tell when I post a new video. Uh, but that is it for now, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.